Hey, this is John with FixYourDirtBike.com, and this is how the rim lock works on your dirt bike. In case you were wondering what that bolt sticking out of your rim is for, that's the rim lock. Your rim lock is simply a clamp that holds your tire in place on the rim and can be found on every dirt bike. Your rim lock is designed to fit between the tire and the tube with metal cleats on the bottom to grip the inside of the tire bead. When your rim lock is in good shape and seated correctly on the rim, your tire will not move. If your rim lock is not seated properly, your tire will spin on the rim, causing your tube to tear at the valve stem, resulting in an instant flat tire and a ruined day of riding. To demonstrate just how strong rim lock is, I cut out a section of old tire, I'll talk about those sparks in a minute, and I'm going to try to rip it off the wheel with a pry bar. On my first try, I secured the rim lock hand tight and I had to pry the tire sideways to get it off the rim. This time, I secured the rim lock like I normally would and I actually hurt my shoulder trying to rip it off. Now, I am well aware that I can't put the same amount of force on this tire that it would see in use, but you get the idea. You can see how well a properly seated rim lock works, so let's talk about what makes it not work. Pinching the tube. If your tube is hung up on the rim lock, it will pinch and probably tear, and that defeats the whole purpose of the rim lock. The solution is to simply double check your tube during install. Alignment. If your rim lock is not straight with the tube, it will not get a full bite. To avoid misalignment, simply give your rim lock bolt a few good pushes against the tube before you tighten it. The rim lock is contoured enough that the tube will straighten it out for you. Mounting hole is too big. This is caused by tightening the nut too tight too many times and the hole is worn out. You can fix this with a washer. And the number one cause of a failed rim lock, it's too loose. As for the sparks when I was cutting out my tire section. A high quality tire will have a steel band inside the tire bead called a bead wire. When the metal cleats on your rim lock clamp down on the inside of the tire bead, they need something to clamp to. Some low quality tires don't have a bead wire, so your rim lock is just gripping rubber and it won't be as effective. The rim lock was designed for tires with inner tubes, but even if you run a moose tube, you should still make sure your rim lock is seated correctly. If you run a tubeless system, you probably didn't need to watch this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe.